Christian, I guess we'll just start off with uh, your thoughts behind signing the long extension with the team and being here uh, for another five years. Yeah, I think it's rare in football that um, you you spend so much time with one club, and I've always felt that. Um, I've always felt loyal to to the Sounders from the very beginning, and uh, to be here, at least signed up until 13 years, uh, is is something to to be thankful for, and um, you know, never taking any moment that I have with the club for granted, and hopefully, I can uh, bring more trophies to the club. What are your earliest memories of your contact with the Sounders? Uh, training out here with uh, while I was with the University of Washington. Um, you know, from the very beginning, trading out here, the guys embracing me, even though I was nobody, right? And um, that's that's humbling, and and you know that that's what you ask for when when you're coming up the ranks and um, you're trying to make a name for yourself. You want to feel comfortable um, to to be able to play your game, and uh, being out here in the summers while uh, I was on break. Um, to be able to train with guys like Clint and Oba, um, you know, it, 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 those were those were moments that I'll never forget. And again, um, you know, that loyalty comes from from those those small moments. You've been so consistent over the years in MLS, and I've gotten you know so much explanation. It, do you have any like thirst or, or just a want to go to Europe, or are you just okay with the path of continuing to be in MLS? Yeah, there were options to, to leave to Europe or, um, you know, at some point, you know, make that decision. But when when you take in all the different factors, um, you you think to yourself, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. And, you know, being here, being able to compete for trophies each and every year, um, to be able to play alongside my brother, uh, with with the good friends that I have on the on the at, at the club, and and to be able to play in front of you know the best fans in in the league, it was a no brainer for me to to be able to stay here and uh, compete and and not be complacent. I think that's that's my mindset. You know I, I don't I didn't sign this this deal to be happy and 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 ride out my career here. I, I came here or I stayed here to win, and I think that's that's my mindset going forward. Uh, to go to Europe is what you're saying. Europe, South America, or Europe. Yeah, I mean, there's there's always uh, there were always talks about whether I should go or not, whether I would be on the national team moving forward if I didn't make the move. Um, but when you win trophies, man, it's it it changes the way you you the, your career goes. Uh, it changes the way people look at you, and that's what I want to be remembered by. Um, you know, I don't want to play for a, a small club. You know, I want to play for, you know, one of the biggest clubs in in the nation, um, whether, you know, that was here or somewhere else. But I, I want to play for a big club that competes. And so that was always my mindset going into um, whether I would sign somewhere else or not. Um, you know, I want to compete. Speaking of competing for trophies, is there a sense of pride knowing that the Sounders are the first U.S. club to make the Club World Cup? Yeah, I always said... Um, we're going to represent the MLS as a whole, and people are going to look at us in a different light, whether we do well or not. And you know that's the the type of um, games that I want to be a part of. And so to, to, it's fitting that the, the the Sounders are the first to to compete at the Club World Cup, and we want to go over there to you know play these big clubs uh, in big games, uh, not friendlies, but actually competing for a trophy. Representing the U.S. in the World Cup and now having this uh, World Tournament ahead of you and with the announcement without you staying with the Sounders. Yeah, it's been a, a great year, year in the month. Um, you know, last year was was crazy, right? We win Champions League, uh, then we go through this lull where we don't uh, do well. I have surgery, get back, you know, not make the playoffs. Uh, make the World Cup squad, get married, sign a new contract. I mean, it doesn't stop, right? And so 
unfortunately, I haven't had time to kind of take a step back and realize what last year was all about. But it's part of the job, right? You you get to appreciate that later in your, in your career when 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 it's done and over with. And I'm, I'm just thankful to to be part of this and to be able to compete at a, at a high level and continue to compete at a high, high level. Um, you know, we we talked about um, you know the your body holding up and and it being a long year. Um, well, we'll get breaks throughout the year, and, and guys will have to step up as well because. Um, you know, we'll have a lot of games, but I'm excited for this year and, and hopefully uh, we can compete for another trophy. Go ahead, uh, talk a little bit about um, you know, not wanting, I guess, making sure that you guys don't get complacent because you signed that. You said, talked about the conversation you had this morning. What were your kind of takeaways or, you know, from that? Uh, you know, I, I've always had a great mindset in terms of. Uh, not being complacent, complacent, but it's always good to hear again, right? Um, you want you want your your coach to to hold you accountable, and you know if you're not playing well, he'll, he'll nudge you, and he'll be like, hey, you know, you need to to step it up. And so we appreciate that, you know, as players, because we we love honesty. Um, you know, as much as people uh, m might take it to heart, uh, you you need that in your coach to to hold you accountable. So um, it's always a good reminder and. Uh, I, I, you know, preach that to everybody in, in their lives, you know, not to be complacent in, in everything that they do. Is it a conversation between y'all or like a back for him telling you, okay, coach, you go out and get your own? Yeah, okay, coach, you know, um, acknowledging it, right, uh, understanding where he's coming from uh, because coach wants what's best for us. Um, he wants what's best for the club, and um, at the end of the day, look, we're here for five years, you know. Um, we, we have to, to understand what we locked ourselves into, right? Um, and, and and what the club is holding us, uh, uh, you know, to what, what kind of standards the club is holding us to. So um, it's always a great m reminder and hopefully, um, you know, us two, Jordan and myself, can can um, uh, uh, maintain that level and e even inc increase it. Going back to um, my previous question about the Club World Cup, can you kind of elaborate on why you think Yeah, I think, well, we, we talk about the standards that the club has and um, competing. Uh, I think the magic word has been trophies, right? Um, and, and competing and, and having um, continuity within the club. Uh, you know, the, the backbone of, of the club is, has been here for, for quite some time. And, um, you know, we're building uh, our, ourselves up every year and, and, and getting better every year. So I think it's fitting that, you know, the the stand the the standards that we have in a league full of parity uh, is tough. It's tough to maintain, and I think the Sounders do a great job of of maintaining that and always competing for for more trophies. And that's why I think it, we're, it's fitting that that we're there. You, you led the last you, couple, you, at least in English, guys. You led the CCL tournament in assist. You were put in positions, difficult venues where you guys played. How much of that CCL experience could help you to play this Club World Cup? terms of how big the moment can be. Yeah, I think what we realized in, in Champions League was the ebbs and flows of, of the game at, at the CONCACAF level, right? Um, there'll be times where you're under a lot of pressure, uh, and, and then there are times where the game might feel a little bit easier. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll probably be under a lot of pressure, and, and we'll probably see that um, at, at the Club World Cup. And it's all about maintaining, um, you know, when, when we're when we're defending at a low block and, and trying not to get broken down and, and then reacting once we get the ball and, and, and being able to break on uh, in the attack. But, you know, the ebbs and flows of, of CONCACAF is, is pretty crazy and, and the, the, you know, the, the momentum switches ha is incredible and I think we'll see that at the Club World Cup. Yeah, yeah, best best men. I have my yeah. two brothers. Yeah. Yeah, and so, uh, yeah, sorry. Jordan wasn't uh, was he in your? Uh, yeah, party? yeah, he was part of my 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 party, my wedding. Um, it was great to see him and Walker, Alo, Aaron Long, um, to to be able to just enjoy their night and, um, you know, my group along with my wife's uh, come together. But it's always it's always great to see you know families come together, and it was it was a really special night for us. Christian, can significa? Uh, 
para ti y para el club esta renovación de contrato a largo plazo? Sí, pues primero orgulloso de, de ser parte de, de un club que quiere ganar. Eh, yo ando aquí para, para seguir eh, mejorando. Eh, yo no quiero firmar este contrato y, y estar feliz que, que, eh, que estoy aquí con, con los Sanders eh, y, y no mejoro. Yo quiero estar aquí para ganar trofeos y eh, la oportunidad para mí era aquí eh, en vez de otro club. Eh, hablaste un poquito en inglés de esto, pero tantas uh, eh, que, que te ha pasado en este último medio año, ¿cómo manejas eso y volteas la página para este nuevo reto eh, que es uh, una vez en, en la vida la oportunidad? Sí, como profesional tenés que tener eh, pues la memoria bien, bien corta, eh, tenés que, que eh, enfocarte en lo que viene enfrente de ti y no eh, eh, recordarte de, de las memorias que, que, ha tu, que has tuvido. Eh, ahorita me, todo mi enfoco es, es el club, el, el mundial de clubes, y pues eh, tenemos que estar físicamente bien para, para ese torneo porque eh, estos equipos van a estar listos y ya están en, en, en la temporada. Eh, pero sí, me siento muy bien y pues feliz que, que estamos aquí en este momento. No, nunca, pero eh, los sueños siempre nacen y, y a veces eh, lo puedes encontrar. Eh, y pues como el mundial de internacional, internacional siempre era un sueño y pues eh, vino de repente y, y este también, pero eh, bien orgulloso y, es, y espero eh, que, que nuestro equipo está, está en un buen momento para para eh, continuar lo que, lo que estamos haciendo aquí. Como equipo ustedes nunca tomarían algo a la ligera, pero simplemente la oportunidad de poder jugar contra un Real Madrid, ¿qué, qué significa para ese niño que quería jugar al fútbol que ahora está a punto de jugar un torneo como este? Sí, pues eh, muy feliz primero, pues porque como niño a, a, siempre has querido jugar contra, contra los mejores y para tener la oportunidad de, de enfrentar contra Real Madrid o Flamengo en, en la segunda round, ronda, eh, pues, es, pues honestamente me, me siento bien orgulloso eh, pa, de, de ir a, a, a un club de mundial así. Pero todavía mucha, pues mucho trabajo porque tenemos que, que ganar ese primer partido y por eso siempre digo que que tenemos que estar físicamente bien para ese partido. Tu hermano dijo que él era simpatizante del Barcelona. ¿Tú cuando eras joven o en ese momento eras más Barcelona o más Real? Sí, más Barcelona y pues eh, todavía soy y pues tengo que ganarle pues primero al, a, al primer equipo, pero después a, a Real Madrid para que me siento más como, eh, como un catalán. y al equipo en general de cara ya a lo que es este torneo en unos días? Sí, pues, pues nuestro equipo se mira muy bien eh, físicamente. Todos sentí que, que trabajaron muy duro en, en, en la pretemporada, eh, en, en las vacaciones y vinieron pues listos para, para competir. Y eso es muy lindo ver porque siempre es difícil motivar a todo el mundo eh, eh, que, que, que entran muy físicamente bien. Y, y bueno, es, es, es como, como un líder en el equipo, es, es un gusto ver eso y bueno, ojalá podemos aplicar eso a, a nuestros partidos allá.